In order to unlock your phone, you have to first go to settings, manage device, uh, all specifications, and uh, repeatedly tap on the uh, MIUI version here. Uh, there will be a toast message on the bottom. After that, you can go back to your settings, uh, additional settings, and you have your developer options here. Now, you have to enable uh, OEM unlocking here and the Mi Unlock status here, which you have to open and add your uh, Xiaomi account once. After that, you can reboot your phone. Uh, first, turn it off. Connect your USB cable to your computer and press power and volume down button at the same time until you're in fast boot mode. You will lose your data, so make sure to back up your stuff before you start with this process. Now, uh, open the Mi Unlock tool. Agree to the disclaimer. Log in to your Xiaomi account. So if you installed the fastboot drivers correctly for your uh, computer, uh, the phone should be uh, detected here and you can press unlock. Click away the two warning pop-ups and the unlock will start. Now this will fail the first time in the second stage of unlocking uh, because you have to wait a um, specific time. Uh, in my case, it was 72 hours. It can be less, it can be more. Um, after this time, you can repeat this process and it should pass like you can see here. After the phone's restarted, you will be greeted with a message in Chinese if you have the Chinese device uh, where you have to basically logging in with your Xiaomi account password. So let's add a Wi-Fi here so you can successfully log in. A little trick if you have a Chinese device and you don't really know what things on screen mean is you can use a second device and uh, use Google Translate, Live Translate, to see what it means. So that's what I'm doing here. So after we uh, connect it to a Wi-Fi, uh, we can activate the device. Basically, uh, your phone number should be here, uh, which is bound to your Xiaomi account. And uh, we can enter the password here. After successfully logging in, you will be greeted again with the standard setup. Which we will go through very quickly here. There we are. Okay, so if you want to load a custom ROM, you have to install currently the only working TWRP version from LR Team. That's a Chinese um, developer, WCSX150 is his name. It's closed source, so it's a bit risky because there could be rootkits uh, or other type of malware installed. But it's currently one of the only ways to get TWRP on your device. That's due to uh, a lot of changes in how uh, native Android 10 devices that have been shipped with Android 10 handle their partitioning and recovery. So yeah, it needs a little bit of time until the uh, official TWRP developers adapt for those native Android 10 devices. So how can you flash uh, TWRP for that again? We turn off the device. And we 
go into power and volume down button. We go into fast boot again while connected to your computer. Now minimal ADB and fast boot. Um, it's a small setup package for Windows. There are versions for Linux and Mac OS as well. So if you installed it, you can reach it through the start menu, type ADB, enter, and you will be greeted with uh, the terminal here. So you type fastboot flash recovery into your console and drag and drop the image file. Uh, please don't forget to add the space between recovery and uh, the path. Then press enter. And your recovery will be flashed onto the device. And now we try to directly boot into the recovery without starting the system. Volume up, power button. Okay, you see it, it rebooted once more after we got a TWRP screen, so uh, make sure that you always press volume up button when you see the Mi logo in order to boot into the recovery and not letting uh, the ROM overwrite um, our custom recovery here. So let's first change the language down there to English. Enter our password in order to decrypt data. You want to wipe and then uh, instead of factory reset, you want to format the device, uh, enter, yes. After that, your SD card and everything is wiped. And now, it should be possible uh, to see your internal storage here um, of your device. It's not encrypted. And uh, you can copy uh, your ROM onto the device. Okay. After you successfully copied um, the ROM to your device, uh, you can finally install. Okay, um, make sure you wipe cache and Dalvik and reboot into your new system. So don't worry when the screen turns black for a few seconds, uh, that's completely normal for the first boot and it takes a little bit longer. Okay, so uh, this time we are greeted in uh, English here. We, since the uh, device is still bound to um, your Xiaomi account, it's a little safety measure that you have to log in. So connect the device to your Wi-Fi hotspot first and then enter your uh, Xiaomi account password. with the initial device setup 
which you can complete by yourself. Okay. And after the initial setup, um, I will show you how to root the device, install my Machisk here. Select file transfer in order to see um, your device here. Um, now you simply have to copy um, all three files onto your internal storage. Files are here. And now reboot into your uh, TWRP recovery. First, turn off your device. And press power and volume up button. Until the logo appears, continue to hold uh, volume up button. Enter your unlock code. Swipe to allow modifications. And now you should be able to see your internal storage SD card. If you don't see it in root level, uh, scroll down and uh, flash Machisk. Swipe to confirm flash and then reboot. I'm not doing it here because I already flashed uh, Machisk here. So after a reboot, um, you should have Machisk Manager icon on your desktop and uh, Machisk should be up to date as well as Manager up to date. Um, I heard from some people that uh, you shouldn't install the version after 20.4. So I, I suggest staying on 20.4 uh, until you know for sure that uh, later versions work uh, without a flaw for the Mi 10 Pro. Okay, so now you've got your Mi 10 Pro with uh, Xiaomi EU custom ROM as well as uh, rooted with Machisk. If you want to hide uh, root from certain apps like banking apps, you have to open uh, settings and uh, press the fourth, one, two, three, fourth entry in the settings menu. Um, I already did that, so that's why my menu looks different here. It allows you to reinstall um, Machisk Manager with a different package name, so it won't be detected by other applications. Uh, furthermore, you have to use uh, Machisk Hide here, ticking the apps you want to hide root for. If you have further questions, um, I suggest you to join the Telegram group for the Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro. Okay, thank you very much and see you next time.